Hi guys, it's Amy here and today we're going to be looking at um, exporting and importing a test so that you can reuse it in a course. Um, so you would think you would use something like um, course copy, but that's not the case and I'll jump into Blackboard and explain why. So with course copy, um, when you do it and you choose um, tests and assignments, what it does is it takes every single test and assignment. And in this case, what I want is just this one test here. Um, so I don't want this test. I don't want this assignment in my new course. I want just this one test. So to do this, I need to go to course tools and choose test surveys and pools. And I'll hit tests. And now that I'm in tests, I will locate the one I'm after. So it's this one here, my super awesome test. And I will export to local computer. So what that's, what that's doing is just downloading a nice file for me to be able to import into my other course. So I just go back to my course list and I'll use this one here in course to import it into. So now I'm in a different course and what I do is I go to course tools again, choose test surveys and pools and I'll pick tests. And what I'll do is I'll pick import test. And then I'll just browse for my file. There we are. Upload. So the great thing about is so because um they're both different in the fact that they are now separate from each other. I can edit the questions in this one and they won't affect the original copy. So I could add questions to this. So again, if this is something that maybe your colleagues have similar tests to you, but you want to make some changes, you don't have to worry about making those changes and it will affect their, their test. That's not the case. Their test will be left alone. Your test will be separate. So I've imported the test now. All I need to do is link to it. So I'll just go to my assessment area. I'll choose test. And then I'll select my test and link to it and make it available to my students. And make available students. I could edit other settings, but I, I don't need to at this point. And there we go. So that test that was in a different course is now available in this course for students to be able to take. So it's very quick and simple. It's just uh, to make you aware that um, using something like course copy uh, would end up bringing all of the tests over uh, and when in this case, I just need one. So again, just a quick reminder, we are available via email. So you've got Ian, David and myself. You can email us, but you can also contact us via, via Teams. Uh, Teams is great because it allows us to call you and we can also do any screen sharing if, if we need to. Uh, a reminder of the Digital Futures Toolkit, that's available online. The toolkit covers um, a lot of what I have discussed in some of these videos, uh, if you've been watching the series of videos, as well as it also covers the student side of things. So that's really, really great. If you have students who are struggling, let them know about the toolkit and they can get some help and support there. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.